Hey everyone, I'm going to be talking to you a bit now about a new TV series. It's called Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency. Uh, it is coming to BBC America here in the States and is coming to Netflix outside of the States. It is a co-production between those two companies. And um, if you are a Douglas Adams fan, the name is very familiar to you because of his book, Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency, and the sequel, Long Dark Tea Time of the Soul. Um, I'm not going to spoil anything for you here. I'm going to be talking, uh, giving you some advanced thoughts about the first pilot episode. Uh, but I'm not going to ruin any story elements, though I don't know what I could ruin necessarily, uh, considering that you get a lot of random occurrences here that don't quite pay off by the end of the episode yet, and hopefully will pay off down the line as the series goes on. Um, this is not a straight adaptation from page to screen. It doesn't take from the stories of uh, the first or second book. This is a new story for TV with the character of Dirk Gently put in and the tone of Douglas Adams put in. It is a tonal adaptation mostly. Um, so in that uh, aspect, it, it, it succeeds, though Douglas Adams' tone still isn't quite for everyone and it's probably also an easier tone to absorb through the page than it is watching and hearing it uh, because it can be pretty exhausting. Uh, what you get here is a lot of uh, lunacy, a lot of um, craziness with the hopes that things will connect and tie together by the end. If this were a movie, they would. It is a TV show, so by the end of this episode, they do not. Dirk Gently, if you don't know, uh, is a holistic detective who does not believe in investigating uh, in a traditional manner or looking for clues or trying to solve cases in a way that you might expect. He believes in going with the flows of the universe and that everything's connected and everything means something, even nothing means something. And so when you're watching all of this play out, <clears throat> Uh, a lot of craziness, a lot of crazy characters coming and going on this show, trying to kill each other, you don't know why. Uh, you're looking for it all to sort of come together because that's what Dirk believes and that's what he wants to show Todd, played by Elijah Wood. Um, he wants to sort of go into his life and become his friend or have him be his partner. You're not quite sure what it is yet. Even Dirk doesn't know yet. Uh, but you're looking for that payoff and because it doesn't happen by the end of this episode, uh, you're left feeling a little empty and you're left wondering how emotionally involved you should be here. Uh, Samuel Barnett plays Dirk Gently this time around. He was on Penny Dreadful in its final season as Renfield, if you saw that. A very different character than Dirk Gently, though equally insane, I would say. Um, but he's fun. He's uh, uh, vivid and brash. He's kind of reminded me a bit of uh, Rick Mayall, um, the, that actor-comedian uh, from uh, England, and uh, who was on The Young Ones and Drop Dead Fred. I kind of got that vibe from him. I kind of think it fits for Dirk Gently. I like it a lot. Uh, and I think the performances are fitting and I think uh, a lot of it works here except for the fact that by the end of this first episode, which is our gateway into the world of Dirk Gently as it is for Todd as well, um, you still don't know what's going on. What it does is it's the, the core of this episode is to try to convince Todd to stick around with Dirk and maybe it does that by the end. But other than that, you don't know where we're headed and you don't know what anything means. And that could be frustrating, uh, but still it is energetic and fun. I gave it a seven. Uh, you could read my written review on IGN.com and stay tuned to IGN for all things Dirk Gently.